Welcome to Hardcraft Stadium, birthplace of the Micro Hard Mutilators. Today's game brought to you by Micro Hard Crash and Burn Technologies. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Cleveland Burns take on the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I fucked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. You got a point. And it's first and ten. The defender won't be just kicked in. He's so fast. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video games. You gotta avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pin cushion. First and ten. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. First down and five. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. And that'll bring up second and one. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance. Hmm. I don't remember that being an officially sanctioned NFL rule. Second down in a lot, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Uh, 
And teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several. The kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! And that'll be second and eight to go. A freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on berserk. Well, at least it oh, the defender just knocked the ball loose. Well, that'll wake you up, then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Yeah, unless you're in a sleeping contest. Second down and ten. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's relief because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Ah, uh, you're telling me. If you don't hear it coming, it'll knock you right on your ass. It's called a scam. Then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. First down and nine. Right. And that pass play is good for eight yards. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And that'll bring up third and one. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down as guy did a speed thing for him. He's running from his team. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And it's first and ten. Way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. refuses to go down. First down. He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And it's first and ten. Oh, with 
the punishing hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. First down and seven. Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and seven. Six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off-season. And it's first and ten. loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Nice hit. Third down and eight. Oh, and the defense jumps outside for the tackle for QB. <laughs> oh, wow. If you're a defender, the only good QB is a dead one, Bricks. Ah, oh, he must be pretty good then, because he is dead. They're down and eight. And the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. 
They just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. If he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Vanji! The new game from Wilton Crabtree. Second down and long. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that... Uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice kick. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. One. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. Here comes the defense. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for.
It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strategic show. Where we going? Yeah. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides, truck, and the whistle blows the play dead, along with the quarterback. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! A boom! Dead and down! He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow! Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said! Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. He's at the 10! Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Not they need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, Rick. These guys are doing fine by themselves. Second down and a lot. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. They run it for a couple of yards. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt but he seems to have worked through it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and 
And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. position in football the mighty punter and he booted a high arcing rainbow and he snags the punt and looks for open field I had a thought thing snags you got to play a card that my friends was an all pro NFL hit and it's first and ten hot one hot two hot three One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick, and anything he touches gets bombed. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. It's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. Good luck. Hot one, eight. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. First and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. Not much there, maybe a yard. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. If you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free. You also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref's dirty trick. Second down and more offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Second 
down and ain't gonna happen, partner. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and the punter is warming up. Great throw, great catch, and that puts six points on the board. The defense can do anything to stop a thrown half good man. You mean aside from bribing the ref, hey, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Yeah, that's right. Hey, what you talking about? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Second down and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, boy, they're going for it. This could get... And they call it an enormous dirty trick. He fumble. You've got to protect the ball better than that. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. The 10. It's a touchdown! Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And he breaks away. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. And David Fritz's ex-girlfriend signaled the name. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown off today. Looks like it's a good fit. Second down and long. Get him down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, oh, going in circles. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, man, what's the hurry up offense? 
There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. They're going for two. And the ball. And they run it in for two points. Here comes the kicker. I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were gonna tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed, it was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot, one, eight. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Hot, hot, one, Three. Receiver needs to break some tackles. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. And he put a little too much on that ball. This will be a touchback. First and ten. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the pin. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he like his original or extra crispy? <laughs> By the looks of it, extra crispy. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not going to. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just cock blocked the clock. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Grim, can I kill him? He had it for a second there. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line. He's not. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. Well, as a quarterback, you have to take risks. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich?
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second down and a lot. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. The mutilators were certainly mutilated and go home losers. It was close for a while, but in the end, it was just too much for them and they couldn't get it done. Sounds like your wedding night, doesn't it? Hey, they got pills for that. You know that commercial where they show a mummy getting a boner? What the hell are you talking about, Bricks? I don't know. I get confused often. I'm on a lot of painkillers. Well, moving right along, let's hear what the MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.